There are a number of different individual steps that they can take. One, we need people to call or email their representatives or senators, both at the local, state, and federal level, to support pro-equality legislation and also to speak out against anti-equality legislation, bills like the ones we saw in, in North Carolina. We need people to call the White House and tell them that they won't stand for discrimination in our military against transgender people. We need people to reach out to their lawmakers and their policymakers. But we also need people to vote. This coming November is a critical election for our community. It's our chance to stop and halt the politics of hate and to elect more candidates that will support equality and dignity for LGBTQ people. And so we need people to show up and vote and to make clear to their elected officials that if they come for the LGBTQ community, we're gonna come for them on election day. Um, but I think when it comes to allies beyond sort of the political, the first thing we need allies to do is to listen, right? Come to us with a willingness to grow and evolve. You're gonna make mistakes and that's fine, but be willing to listen and to grow from those mistakes. And I think that's the most important trait an ally can have.